Hello everybody, Conti here with another video. How to create an apocalyptic red sky effect using DaVinci Resolve 16.1.2. Go to the edit window in DaVinci Resolve by left clicking on the tab at the bottom of your screen. Press Ctrl and I to open up a file explorer to select the file that you wish to use in this project. Use Command instead of Ctrl if you are a Mac user. Inside your media pool, left click once to open this. Left click on the thumbnail of the file that you have just inserted into your project. You should see that this is selected with a red outline around this. Left click, hold your mouse button down on top of the thumbnail and drag your cursor towards the timeline. Let go of the left mouse button once your clip is in place at the start of the timeline at zero seconds. Go to Effects Library, left click once, underneath Toolbox select Generators and go to left click and hold your mouse button down on Solid Color. Drag your mouse cursor to the timeline above the original clip that you inserted. This solid color edit should appear on video track 2. Parallel with your original clip underneath. Let go of your left mouse button. And the screen should turn black. Ensure that this solid color edit is selected by left clicking once. So that a red outline appears around this. Underneath inspector, double click on the box next to color where a red, green, blue code appears as you hover your mouse cursor over this. Inside the select color box which appears, find the HTML box towards the bottom. Left click to select this and type in FE231A. Left click on OK. Now underneath composite, go to composite mode. Click on the arrow next to the mode option and select color. To add more color detail to the more brighter areas of your image, such as the sky here in this example, we are going to add another solid color generator underneath effects library once more. Left click, hold your mouse button down and drag this one to video track 3 above the initial solid color edits you inserted. Left click once on this and go to select the color tab underneath inspector which is set to the default color black like with the first one. This time type the following code FE5830. Click OK. This time underneath composite change normal to darken. The colours at the moment appear very vibrant and prevent certain details such as the mountain in the background here from being seen for example. Therefore the brightness and contrast settings for this particular image need to be adjusted to make certain props and settings more clear. Go to left click on the original clip that you inserted on your timeline. With this edit selected, go to the colour tab at the bottom of your DaVinci Resolve screen. Left click once. Inside your color window, go to left click once on color wheels. Outlines for particular props and settings on your current image or video file may be difficult to see. Therefore, in order to make these more significant, what we need to do is intensify the darker and shadowy areas of this particular file. To do this, we go to lift, which applies a setting to the darker areas of your imagery. Go to left click on the rectangular tab underneath the rainbow wheel. Hold your mouse button down and drag this to the left. To roughly minus 0.33. This should make the outlines of props and darker areas of your particular video clip stand out more. To make the less darker areas of your image stand out more, 
such as the grey or coloured areas from your original file. We also need to apply a similar setting to gamma, which affects the mid-tones. Go to the rectangular tab, left click, hold your mouse button down and drag this to the left. to minus 0 0.08. At present, since we have made the darker areas of the image stand out more, the contrast between the dark and lighter areas of your image may be more significant. Therefore, to reduce the intensity of the more brighter areas, we are going to reduce the gain slightly. Again, left click, hold your mouse button down over the rectangular tab underneath the rainbow wheel and drag this to the left. To 0 0.89. And you should see that the more brighter areas, such as your sky for example, will be less intense than before. If you feel that your image is too dark, what we can also do is increase the overall brightness by adjusting the offset. Left click, hold your mouse button down on the tab underneath this fourth rainbow wheel and drag your mouse cursor this time to the right. I'm going to adjust mine here to 42.35. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.